He says, no man, when he lighted the candle. So, no man. So, that means God wants you to light your candle. So, the next wisdom key is that you have the power to by the anointing of God and by the revelation of God, light your candle. So, there are people, next wisdom key, whose spirits have been activated. And there are people who their spirits have not been activated. The activation of spirits is called blessing. Ah, boy, you know. The activation of a spirit is called blessing. Sakatika namasos. Hapa house. Now, there are people who, they come to the earth, but what? Because you are a spirit. What God made you for? It has to be activated. So when God made Adam, Adam came out of him. Yet he wasn't activated until God blessed him. So let me explain the power of activation. Adabasis. Are you with me today? Now, Jesus had tamazis. Jesus told the disciples. The disciples came to him and said, Master, we have 5,000 men. They've been with you all day, and there's nothing to eat. He says they'll faint. And Jesus said, go and feed them. He said, Master, what kind of instruction is this? We're out here in the wilderness. How can we feed them? But Jesus was speaking based on the possibilities of the Spirit. <laughs> I said, he, there is a language of the possibilities of the Spirit. And then there's language based on the impossibilities of the natural. So Jesus was speaking based on the language of the possibilities of the spirit. Mm -mm -mm. So you take that as the wisdom key. That there, there's the language of the possibilities of the spirit, and there's, there's the language of the impossibilities of the natural. And they said, but Jesus said, okay, let's let's you, you know him. He must have something up his sleeve. So so uh, chief protocol officer goes around and starts finding if there's any food. Because it could be there's a miracle. It could be somebody bought a mobile bakery with them. So I mean, so they go around. There's no mobile bakery. And all of a sudden, Deacon Willie comes and says, well, we only have five loaves and two fishes. And Jesus says, bring it to me. What does Jesus do with them? The Bible says that Jesus lifted it up and blessed it. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus did not pray for it to multiply. Jesus blessed it. Because when he blessed it, he activated what was inside the bread to spread. Oh God. Oh boy. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Jesus, that's all he did is bless it. Nothing else. He just blessed it. And then he says, take it and distribute it. So the blessing cause the the molecules inside the bread to begin to spread so what you are loaded with it just needs to be blessed my god oh are you hearing me it just needs to be blessed so there are people under the sound of my voice you have never been blessed what is in your spirit has never been activated that's why the prophet said arise and what shine shine means set your light on switch your light on 